I can really do with somebody explaining to me this business with gendered slurs because I've tried to understand it. I've really tried to understand what's going on here and I can't get my head around it. I think we all understand what a gendered slur is. It wasn't a term I'd come across up until relatively recently, um, it has to be said. But it's obvious what it is. We all know what a slur is. Uh, it's, it's, it's something with the implication of a negative connotation. Um, it's an insult, if you like. Pardon me. And what we're saying with a gendered slur is there's some kind of um, sexual asymmetry to how it applies, how the word originates. Uh, not, not how it's applied, whether it's applied more to men or women, but w where it originates from. So, for example, twat is a gendered slur because it refers to um, female genitalia. That is its origin. So that if we call, if I call you an asshole, that's not a gendered slur because it's a slur. Uh, but it's not a gendered slur because everybody has an asshole. Well, not everybody, and I'm sure there's somebody somewhere on one of these forums getting really, really wound up about the fact that they've never had an asshole um, and that somehow they feel left out. Um, or they have got an asshole and their friend hasn't got an asshole and so they feel dragged down by calling people assholes when their friend hasn't got an asshole and they're not being dragged down or something. Like that. It's bound to have happened somewhere along the lines. But basically that's the rule. So that it's... The idea is, is that the, the origins of the word drags that group down. So if you call someone a twat, if I call you a twat, for example, for watching this ridiculous video that I'm making, that I'm trying to drag you down, but I'm, I'm dragging down all the twat holders at the same time, all the women of the world, you say, by using this word in a negative context. Whereas when I use asshole, that's okay because it's okay to drag everybody down as long as you drag everybody else down equally. But if there's some asymmetry in how you drag people down, that's the problem. I think that's basically where it's coming from. Um, although it's a little bit sort of, there is an asymmetry in how it's handled because it always seems to be with the words twat and cunt. In terms of words like prick, dick, cock, bollock, balls up, no, sort of accusations of, of uh, misandry and, and, and making misandristic remarks, nobody seems to make those accusations at all um, with regard to these. Yes, apparently the same applies in both camps, but nobody really gives a flying crap about those particular words. It's cunt and twat that seem to, to cause the real problems here. So this is the thing, this is the thing that really... Uh, amuses me about all of this is that most of us claim we would like to see equality and that if we could see genuine equality then 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 there really wouldn't be anything to talk about but there are a group of people who claim that um who, who i just don't buy that that's how they feel and this is kind of indicative of it because of all the things that i can think of in terms of language, I cannot think of anything more equitable. And when people talk about comparing it to homophobic or racist language, this is where the difference is with gendered slurs. I cannot think of anything that is more equitable across the board than gendered slurs. I really don't know how it's happened in our society, but literally for every cunt there's a prick, for every cock there's a twat, for every fanny, and that means uh, women's bits in Britain, uh, there is a, which one haven't I chosen? Dick, I think is the one that I haven't chosen. So you've got your cock, your dicks and your pricks on one side and your twats, your cunts and your fannies on the other and you've got your tit heads on one side and you've got your balls up and your drop bollocks on the other they're used you know if, if someone said to me Jim which one do you think is used most often I couldn't I honestly couldn't tell you whether the male centric terms are used more than the female centric terms or the other way around it is that equitable if somebody said to me well which are the worst ones and which, maybe the women's terms are always used in the worst situations maybe the worst word is cunt. But the best word is boob. And, and you know, where I come from, if you see a friend, a male friend, it's all right to say, all right, you old cunt, how are you doing? And that's not seen as an insult, but you couldn't say, all right, you old prick, that would be seen as an insult. So 
it's horses for courses really there some of them in some contexts are slightly worse than some others i couldn't get a fag paper and that's not a homophobic slur by the way that just means a cigarette paper i couldn't get a fag paper between the two if i tried so this is the thing then you have a situation there where it couldn't be more equitable where you've got these male centric slurs and female centric slurs just perfectly balanced and still people are whining and griping and fucking moaning about it how could is there really any chance that we will ever achieve harmony when that's the kind of situation that you have but listen i've got a solution here some of us like these terms. So what I thought is, what about if you amalgamate them? What about if we call people a cunt dick or a cock twat? Or my particular favourite is a titty bollock. Okay, if somebody gets something wrong, so well, you've dropped a bit of a titty bollock there, haven't you? And then everybody's happy because everybody in the background, I say you've dropped a titty bollock, I've brought you down because you're the, the subject that I'm focusing on. But everybody who's got either titties or bollocks has been insulted equally in the background and I can start looking down on the rest of humanity absolutely equally which is apparently what happens and is apparently a reasonable way of carrying on. Well it did turn out into a rant, I said it probably would do. Uh, thank you for watching this video, I hope you feel totally enlightened now on the subject of gendered slurs as I now do uh, and bye for now.